everybody. So over the past few months, I've been testing out every type of the tier tier cushion foundation and also the tier tier bottle foundation. And I've been testing all of these out against the very original, the one that was famous and viral, red cushion foundation. And the reason I've been doing this is because this foundation impressed me so much. I just wanted to see what all of the others were like because I loved it that much and it's such a good price. So I'm going to be showing you me trying on the two side by side, including a wear test. And at the end of the video, I'll be trying on my favorite out of all of them. And I will also be ranking them in order of my favorites. So I can just let you know what I think. Obviously you may have a very different opinion, but I can't wait to show you this because this is a foundation I've really fallen in love with. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Hannah. I'm 47, I'm not a professional. I'm just somebody who loves makeup and beauty. And here on my channel, I like to show you my favorite looks, talk about any news you might be interested in, in the beauty world and to review latest products. So if you think that's something you'd really enjoy, I would love it so much if you liked and subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so very much for returning. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. And my skin type, if that's helpful to you, I've got fair to light skin with neutral undertones that lean a little bit cool. I've got combination skin, which is mostly dry, but I do get an oily T-zone. So that's enough about me. Let's get on with this video. So in every clip, I will be trying on 21N, which I think I will say in each video. I have already published all of these videos on my shorts, so some of you might have already seen them, but what you wouldn't have seen is the check-in that comes afterwards. So hopefully you'll enjoy them and you'll find them helpful. But one thing I just wanted to say about tier tier, I have seen quite a few people saying they don't actually trust anything because it's gone viral on TikTok. Now, let me tell you, I was exactly the same because anything that goes that viral on TikTok, I usually leave it alone. But this one was just being mentioned by too many people, including people I trusted. So I thought I'd try it. And I do believe this one. I think it really is worth the hype. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is the best selling one in Japan. And it was that way before it went viral on TikTok. It just went viral as things tend to do, which aren't always good. But at this time, something that's gone viral was actually genuine. And it's bothered me a bit because I've seen people saying any creators that say they like tier tier, they're just doing it because it went viral. I can absolutely assure you I don't do that on this channel. I only ever show you things that I already enjoy if I'm telling you I enjoy them. And I only tend to purchase brands and products I think I'll enjoy because I don't want to invest my money in products I'm likely to hate. But if I do come across something and I don't like it, you can be absolutely assured I will always tell you when I don't. So if I thought this was rubbish, you would completely know about it. Plus, if you know me and my channel, you probably know my face won't be able to give it away anyway because I won't be able to hide it, I mean, because I cannot hide anything. So if I put this on and I don't like it, even if I don't verbalise it, my face will be telling you very clearly I do not like this. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. Anyway, so let's now move on to each clip and my check-in afterwards. So here are those clips. Today I'm testing out the black tier tier against the red tier tier. So the black one comes in exactly the same packaging and puff. So one push in, lots on the back, scrape some off here. So I've got about half the amount. I've got both of these in shade 21N and they both offer exactly the same level of coverage. The difference between the two is the black one has less moisturizing ingredients and it gives a less bright finish. This also contains SPF 50. I'm going in with the red and scraping off. This one has SPF 40. Both of these suit oily and combination skin types. Both offer 72 hour wear. So here is the black side described as a fixing cover. And here is the red side described as a gloss cover. And here's how they look with the full face of makeup. So here is the black side and here is the red side. Which one do you prefer? Hi everyone, so this is an 8 hour check in now with the black tier tier on this side and red tier tier on this side and I have to say longevity for both of these is exactly the same. I've just got a little bit of caking, a little bit of where it's shifted around here and um, I know I say this in so many videos, I've eaten a messy salad, I always seem to do it. I was trying my best today to be so careful but I got a run of oil from the salad dressing so you can almost see a line I don't know if that's going to come up on camera but you can see like a line there from where it literally went through it it's because of the oil so ignore that but other than that there's a little bit of caking here and here no more than usual but still a very very reasonable amount we've got very warm weather 
and I'm very impressed with both. There's no feel of any oils coming through. I have powdered on top of this and I did use a setting spray today, but yep, there's no oils. You can't see any shine particularly, can you? I've been so happy with the way my complexion has looked today. So really liking both of these. I think possibly a little bit more radiance on the red side, which would make sense because the black tear tear is supposed to give less radiance, less shine, less brightening, whichever term, but one of those. <laughs> but yeah, both fantastic. What do you think? Today I'm testing the tear tear crystal mesh against the red tear tear. Here's the case of the crystal mesh. And then inside it has a slightly smaller puff and the foundation is beneath this mesh net. So going in, that's how much comes out with one squish, tapping off on the inside to remove most of that. So the key difference between these two is the mesh filtering, which is said to give you a perfect radiant glow. I'm using shade 21N for both. And this has SPF 50 and 72 hours wear. I'm going in with the red. This has SPF 40 and they both have skin loving ingredients. So here is the crystal side and here is the red side. And here's how it's looking with makeup on. So this is the crystal side and this is the red side. I think both sides look exactly the same in all honesty. I'm obsessed with the TSC foundation. It really is fantastic. Doing a nine hour check-in now, because I've just been out for an evening meal. So I've been out in the rain and I've been eating all sorts of different foods. And this is how both sides of the foundation looks after just over nine hours. So this is the diamond side and this is the red side. And in all honesty, I don't think there's any difference in the way it's wearing. I am getting a bit of caking around there. Not a lot, just a little bit. I don't think I've actually lost any coverage at all. Slight bit of pinkness maybe on the tip of my chin and as I've said in most of my videos I do have this awful tendency of doing this all the time But I've been having lots of different foods messy foods loads of different drinks and it has lasted all that time It genuinely is one of the most reliable foundations I've ever tried. So do I think one has lasted better than the other? No, I think they are both the same So slightly more coverage with the red But the longevity exactly the same Today I'm testing the pink tear tear cushion foundation with the red, one on each side so we can see which one looks best. Starting with the pink, I have both in shade 21N, one small press inside, lots on the back so I'll be scraping at least half of this off here. The pink one has SPF 50, more coverage than the red, it's slightly less moisturising and slightly less brightening. Both offer 72 hours of cover and they're suitable for oily and combination skin. Now going in with the red. This one has SPF 40. This has more moisturising ingredients and brightening capabilities. So here is the pink side and here is the red side. Which one do you prefer? And here's how both sides are looking with a full face of makeup. So the pink side against the red side. I genuinely love them equally. What do you think? So this is nearly a 12 hour wear test for the tear tear pink and red. I didn't mean it to be 12 hours, but I completely forgot to do this and I'm off to bed in a minute and just remembered. So you're getting 12 hour check in here. So the pink side is the one that's lasted the longest, I'd say, because I am getting quite a bit of caking and breaking up in this area. Whereas the pink side, there's a little bit there. These are the areas I would expect there to be breakup. And there's definitely less of it there. I'd say the chin hasn't really fully survived the 12 hours, but it's done well considering. But I haven't had any messy food at all. So that's nothing to do with greasy food. It's just to do with me putting my hands on my face, which I do all the time. So, but otherwise it's held up really, really well. This is 12 hours of me touching it up, not once. I haven't not, I haven't touched this since 11 o'clock in the morning when I filmed and it's now nearly 11 p.m. So that's the red side and that's the pink side. I'm really happy to be honest. I mean, I, I knew, I already knew that the red one was brilliant, but the, the longevity, the pink has lasted longer. There is grease coming through, definitely, 
Not a terrible amount though. Really is a very, very impressive foundation this, it really is. Today I'm testing metal tier tier cushion foundation against the red one. The case is exactly the same design, one press inside and lots on the back so scrape some off. Both of these are in 21N and this one contains 30 SPF. Both promise high coverage and they have moisturising ingredients. This one is more lightweight, less heavy on the skin and offers more brightening. Into my red one and this one has SPF 40. So here is the metal side which I think gives a more natural finish and here is the red side which I think gives a bit more coverage. With a full face of makeup, which side do you prefer? Today I'm testing out the red cushion foundation and the red bottle foundation to see if there's any difference between these two. One pump on the back of my hand, this is shade 21N. So this foundation gives nearly full coverage, has very moisturising ingredients and lots of brightening properties. So now going in with a cushion foundation, I'm expecting the sponge to apply a bit more lightly because it usually does, but let's see. I think I've got more of a full coverage here because I use the pad, I've got a lighter coverage here because I use the sponge. The formulas are identical as you would expect, so it's whichever you prefer. So here it looks on both sides, both looking the same. I see so many people saying they don't like this cushion foundation because it's too heavy and way too thick and makeup-y on the face. It's because they're applying too much. You just need a tiny little bit on the cushion or as you've seen with the sponge application, it's not too heavy, it's not too cakey. It is a beautiful finish and easily one of my favorite foundations of the year and maybe even ever. I absolutely love this formula. So having seen all of those, the one thing that was missing was my check-in for the day I tried this one against the red, red one. I don't know what's happened, but I've managed to delete that, I'm afraid. So I remember this well, because it's one of the most recent ones I've tested. So basically they wore exactly the same way. So the way you've seen the red one wear is how this one wore. But I slightly preferred the way that this looked at the end of the day compared with the red. So this has exactly the same longevity as the red, just a very slightly different finish. So be assured in my check-in, this wore as well as the red, please. <laughs> Anyway, so now let's go through the ranking of all of the ones I've tried. And I'll start off by saying I think they're all absolutely brilliant. I would happily blindly pick any of these out of a tray and use them because they are that good. They're also so good for travel, especially when I'm using these little tiny ones. And when I go on holiday, this is what I took. I took the red one in this size. And I think when I go on my holiday coming up, which probably, I've already been on that holiday when you see this video actually. I'm filming this in August, but I'm going to be putting out what out whilst I'm on holiday. So you're probably seeing this in September. And on that holiday, I will be taking one of these because it is so quick and easy to apply and I love the way it lasts. And it's also very compact and perfect for travel. So there isn't an awful lot between these in all honesty. I really would wear them all. But the one that comes last for me is this one in the crystal packaging. So this is the one that's got that crystal mesh thing. Now, the only reason I don't like this, it's supposed to actually filter the product a bit better. I don't think it needs it because it's already perfect. You can see here, I mean, just look at it. You might already guess why I'm not a fan. You can't see the crystal mesh, but can you see how messy that is? That's from just one application. I only wore it the once. And what I don't like about it, as soon, as soon as you push the pad in, it just oozes out everywhere and it goes around the edge of the pad. And even when you're scraping off here, it just gets a bit tricky to do it. I just don't see the point of it. I don't, see, I don't think it makes it any smoother. I don't think it applied any differently. I, I don't see the point. The packaging is nice, but still very usable. I just probably wouldn't use the pad that came with it because of how messy it is. I'd probably use a sponge to apply this one to avoid the mess, but rather than waste it, that's exactly what I'll do. So this is still very good. It's just coming bottom for that reason. But the formula itself, I actually don't see a difference between this and the red. I really don't. I see them as the same. So my next one, so this is coming in fifth. Is it fifth? I've got six, but this I'm sort of doing a joint third. So anyway, <laughs> let's say fifth or fourth anyway. So next is the black one. And the reason this one is coming up in here is just because it's got a bit less moisture in it. There's nothing for me to really show you again here. It's got exactly the same pad, very easy to apply, excellent longevity. Really enjoyed this one. It applies as easily as the red and it's got great longevity, as I said, and it 
it's very quick and easy but it's just not quite as hydrating which is something I really need so if you've got super oily skin you might prefer this one because it's got that little bit less um, of the skincare in it so for me I wouldn't go with this one and I prob I would definitely wouldn't repurchase this one and this is the one I'd probably reach for the least from that respect it's not messy but it's the crystal one at least that one's giving me the coverage I want but this one it's still giving it to me but it's just I probably need a lot more moisturizer underneath so that's why so the next one so this is coming in fourth and that is the pink one and the only reason this one is coming underneath the red is because maybe this is a bit too heavy for me this one gives more coverage than the red and if you've tried the red or you've seen it applied you know that it gives exceptional coverage I don't think I need to go higher than the red I, I don't dislike the way it looks you can apply these lightly and if you apply them with a sponge you will get a very different application so you could probably use this with a sponge and find that you've got a very similar application to the one with the red but just because I don't need to go any higher than the red, that's why I would put this beneath it. This is also less brightening and I quite like the healthy look you get from the tier tier foundation. So I'm slightly losing out on that as well. So that's the reason why this one comes underneath the red. So second and third, which are really joint second, is actually the red. So the red has not come top for me. So these two are exactly the same. So it's whether you want the cushion or the bottle. Now I've got so used to using the cushion and I find it so easy, I would probably choose the cushion over the bottle for that reason, but some people have said they don't like using the cushion. So if you really want to see what the finish is like of this fab fabulous formula, then pick up the bottle and then you don't need to worry about using the cushion pad. You can just apply it exactly how you want to. Even though you don't need to apply these with a cushion pad, you can go in with a brush, you can use something something fairly dense. I mean, I would probably use my Refa number B04 to, to pat in here. This is quite a good one. And another good one I would recommend is the BK Beauty 106 or any foundation brush that is this sort of shape. So then you tap it in and then you can go around in swirling motions to apply it. So you can still do that with this. You don't need to buy the bottle for that if the reason you're put off is because of the cushion pad that comes with it. But I have got so used to using the cushion pad now that I find it quicker and easier. I really do, which has never happened before. I never ever use the provided cushions in powders or in foundations. So I really do enjoy using it now. And this one, just apply with anything you like and you'll find what anything you're used to having so you could use a sponge for application with this but obviously you can use your favorite foundation brush and you're going to get exactly the same finish they are exactly the same formula but i think this is just good for those that are a little bit worried about the cushion or maybe you just don't like the whole concept of the cushion so maybe you prefer to try this i think it's a good option all of the ones I've shown you have got SPF 50 apart from the red, which has got SPF 40. So that's one other thing to, to think about is the other ones do give you a little bit more, but obviously that's never going to be your SPF of the day. I always have my SPF 50 on underneath. So topping it with a foundation with 40 or 50, I don't think it makes an awful lot of difference. So for that, for that reason, it wouldn't be a deciding factor for me because 40 is still pretty high in the red. So my number one is the Tear Tear Metal. I think this one is the best out of all of them from a finish point of view. I think this one gives me the most natural finish. This actually gives the same amount of coverage as the red. This has the same amount of moisturizing ingredients in. It slightly has more of a brightening capability and I think that's probably why it doesn't have, um, it does look more natural on me. But one thing as well, and you might notice this in the clips where I show you both sides when I'm trying on all of the different tier tiers in this video is that the red one I think oxidizes more and if you've seen videos on the tier tier you'll know that it's very well known for oxidizing so 21N looks a little bit pale on me and then it oxidizes a bit and it's just about right but I do find with the red one it goes a little bit too bright and I think oh should I got have gone down a notch but it's very difficult to do that because of the shade range and also I say that because of the availability especially if you're going for all of these different ones there's not an awful lot of shades available in all of these different ones but 21N if you've if you've got my skin tone it seems to be available a lot so um I think I'll stick with 21N generally and that's obviously what I've done for this video but I do think with this one and with most of the others actually, they oxidize less. So that's another reason why they place maybe higher than the red or certainly this one. 
but I still love the reds. It doesn't really matter to me. Once I've added the bronze and everything else to my face, I always think it looks great. And the thing about all of these Tirti foundations is I can look in any, any mirror, in any light, and be really happy. And to be honest with you, there's not many bases that make me do that. There's always some sort of criticism I've got for things, thinking, oh, I look great when I put it on. Then you walk in the bathroom under a different light and think it looks terrible. Or maybe just not as good, maybe not terrible, but you know what I mean. Or if you're out and about and you're in a department store where the lights are bright and you catch yourself in a mirror, you think, oh, it just doesn't look right or it doesn't look as good as it did this morning. Tear tear just seems to last and have that sort of effect in every light for me. I've been really, really happy with it. I do still get a bit of wear around here, so I can't say it's completely magic, but I get that with everything. So... But anyway, this one is my favourite. This one's number one for me because it's a little bit more brightening and it just looks a bit more natural. So that is the one I'm going to be putting on today. So I've obviously only got this in the travel size. I won't be picking any of these up in larger sizes for now because as you can probably see, I've got a rather large stock of them. Now this one straight away as well, I don't feel like I need to tap off as much. So this one is actually a more user-friendly version. In fact, shall I not tap off? And I'll show you. See, when you use the red one, if you don't tap off, you end up with so much. That's why you'll see so many videos of people trying the tear tear and saying it's too cakey, it's too heavy, because one push in on the cushion with the red one, and you've probably got enough for three applications. But this one, obviously it's a smaller pad as well because it's the travel, so you're getting less as well. So that's worth considering. If you get this in the large, maybe you would need to scrape off. But but can you see, I mean, see with the pad, one thing is always holding it here by leaving this middle finger out, these two fingers left and right, and then pushing lots of taps. And it's just so quick. Just tap, tap, tap all over and you just, in no time it's done. So all the redness around my nose is going, the redness on my forehead is gone and the only thing I've got underneath this is a moisturiser. I haven't used any sort of primer which is what I've been doing a lot lately. Just using a good moisturiser and then my SPF. So that is a good full application of this but you can build it up in areas where you might want a bit more full coverage. Now even though this says it's the same coverage as the red, I think it's actually a bit less but it's still very good coverage. So if you're looking for a coverage that matches the red, I do think this is a bit less, but it's still, I, it's my favorite because it's given me radiance. It's giving me much more of a natural finish. It doesn't seem to oxidize at all. I hope you can see that on camera because it's been on for a good few minutes now because I just went off and did some other things just before I came back to say that. So it's been yeah about five minutes, I'd say actually. So no oxidizing as I get with the red and I think it's a really good match for my skin tone as you can see so that's why it's my favorite I'm certainly not put off the red don't get me wrong but if I had to if I ran out of all my tears here and had to replace them this is the one I would be replacing it with because this is the best but I honestly don't think you can be disappointed with any of them but obviously try and match it up with your skin type so if you've got mostly dry skin I think this one would be the best one for you to try I know some people with dry skin find the red is too drying so I think this one is a better option and probably because I've got mostly dry skin with just this oily area here that's why it's working so well on me so lots of different options here if you go through them and I'm going to put a chart up here so you can see that so you can pause that screenshot it save it it gives you information to follow on the, the properties of each one of these tier tiers. So anyway, I'm gonna go off camera now, do the rest of my makeup, so you can see how all of my makeup's sitting on top of this. So I've now got a full face of makeup on top of this lovely tear tear foundation. I've used creams, I've used powders, because everything sits very nicely on top of this. I find that everything I've tried, and I have tried probably everything, because I've been using tear tear now probably for about six weeks on and off, and none of them have argued with any of the formulas I've put on top. And it really does help everything to just last because when your base lasts, it does help with everything else on top. So for me, it is an absolute winner. So obviously I've toned down the shine by putting powders on, but a little bit of the shine will come through during the day, which is what I like, sort of natural shine and just enough shine for me. So it's given me more of a sort of natural finish, not 
definitely more of a natural finish as I said than the red not a huge difference but enough for me to prefer it so anyway that is my full face using this foundation as base and I really hope you've enjoyed seeing all of these different tier tiers in action. I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried any of them? And if you haven't, which one do you think maybe from this video you might prefer? I would love to hear if you do try them and how you get on with them because there, there is a bit of a learning curve with the application of these, but this is something very rarely hyped makeup is the real thing and for me tear tear absolutely is one of the other biggest bonuses is that these are so affordable i mean if you just pick up some of these little travel ones you can pay around seven eight pounds just for a travel one and they will last you quite a long time but it's also the best way to really test out whether or not these work but you also don't pay an awful lot for the full size they tend to be anywhere around the 15 to 18 mark pounds that is and I have put links below for where you can get these. They do take about three weeks sometimes to arrive because the websites I'm ordering them from are not in the UK, but still super reasonable. So you will find links for all of these below. Just be aware, um, certainly ordering to the UK, you will have that weight, but they do turn up and they're worth the weight, honestly. So anyway, that is it for my tier two review. I've really enjoyed comparing all of these and it was good for me actually to find out because I might have just stuck with the red because I loved it so much. But now that I've tried them all out, I know it's the metal I'll probably be repurchasing. So I would love to hear your thoughts on all of this and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so very, very much. As I always say, I appreciate you so much, honestly, I really, really do. And I hope to chat with you in the comment section below about this video, these products, and anything else you might like to chat about. And I hope to see all of you for my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.